Vertical farming, a controlled environment to create perfect crops, sometimes even seen in restaurants or supermarkets. Now home devices allowing you to do the same on a smaller scale are growing in popularity and in my garage. Well, here is my Click and Grow Smart Garden. Yes, that is its actual name. As you can see, everything's grown pretty nicely. When I planted it, I logged it all in the app because the app doesn't actually sync up to the device. There is a Bluetooth version coming soon that'll do that. But it does provide a good diary function. I know that I planted these 27 days ago and I'm given advice on exactly how long it takes for them to be ready to eat. My lettuce is ready, my tomatoes aren't. I never received the alert to refill the water that I should have done, but that was apparently down to a glitch in the app, which I'm told has since been fixed. And walking away, seeing lights left on did feel quite odd, but I was left with some really nice leaves. It'll take you a fair few lettuces to get your money's worth on buying the kit, but in the uncertainty of a global pandemic, devices like this do seem to have their appeal. I really felt like I was going to battle when I went to the grocery store with my mask and my hand sanitizer and my wipes. So it's been really nice to be able to grow my own food here, to not have to worry about that. Here you see my mature plants and these are my newer plants coming in for my second harvest. New modular concepts do allow you to personalize your setup, choosing whether you want one salad shelf or two or three. And like many of the latest growers, this one connects to an app to remind you to add water or nutrients or to harvest your veggies. One of the trickiest problems was getting the whole system integrated so you know you could you could replace these trays, having it so that you could add on trellises to the system, having it so you can add on modular systems later. Um, integrating all the sensor data of where the water is and what the pH levels are and the nutrient levels, um, pumping all that into an app. Whilst big brands LG and Samsung have shown off some intriguing kitchen concepts, lesser known Farm Shelf has a device that might beat them to market. Its indoor farm uses sensors and computer vision to monitor the plants, automatically providing the right amount of water and nutrients. We're collecting data on how the plants are growing and monitoring those from a variety of equations as well as the way that the images are analyzed. And that as that data set grows, we're able to automate more and more actions in the system as well as automate notifications and changes to the plant recipes as the plant progresses through its life cycle. For communities like this women's shelter, having an on-site farm has been a lifeline through the coronavirus crisis. This huge container can house 9,000 plants to help feed more than 1,000 women and children staying there each night. Food supply chains have been varyingly broken across our country. One thing that we knew we always had was our farm. The container farm costs over $100,000, but it certainly proved its value. So we've produced in less than nine months uh, over $40,000 equivalency in uh, uh, fresh leafy greens and vegetables. Whether it's the pandemic or whether it's just the everyday uncertainty of life in a homeless shelter, it's been a tool for learning and healing on every level. So although for most of us, these high-tech gardens will be more of a hobby, these self-sufficient growers can seriously help out in unpredictable times. Maybe needs a bit of dressing, but that's good.